What do you want to watch tonight? Whatever you want, babe. This season of The Bachelor is an unbelievable journey like you've never seen before. Nope. As you can see, we're going to be doing some polishing today. I got three Lake Superior agates from the 2019 season. I'm pretty excited about it. They're not the biggest, but it's going to help me get some really good practicing in for using the Dremel a lot more and then helping me get a lot more of a flat surface when it comes to doing my hand polishing. So I'll show you what we got. All right, so the first one we got here is this guy. Like I said, not the biggest, but it's got this little spot here that's got this red bit. Um, as you can see, I've been going on with the uh, grinding bit, and uh, it actually looks pretty good, pretty smooth, so I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, that's the first one. Here's the second one. Just a rough agate. Got a little bit of banding hiding in there, and there, and a little in there, but right there. I've been going, making it as straight as I possibly can with the Dremel, and uh, I'm already pretty pumped with how it's turning out, so that one's going to be really fun to see polished up. Uh, I'll see what I can do about this fracture, is what it is, no big deal. And then the last one, this guy right here, it's got all these uh, broken fractures on this side, so I didn't touch that. But I went on one flat surface there, a very small flat surface there, and then the bigger one right there to see inside there. So I'm going to move on to the 600 grit diamond bit and uh, we'll see how it looks afterwards. Just wanted to say too, stick around for the end and I'll show you what this thing's about. Alrighty, so we're going to start with the little red one with the 600 grit diamond bit and uh, definitely been using a lot of tips and tricks that people have been uh, telling, telling me from the first video in the comment section so thank you guys so much for that, it's been so helpful and it's definitely shown a lot already in uh, the process of how uh, this one's going. I can already tell I'm going to save a lot of time when it comes to hand polishing. As you can kind of see, I picked a bit that has a straight, it's straight across so I can kind of use it as a leveler. And I'm kind of using the light behind it, the whiteness, to see, uh, you know, if certain parts aren't level or not. And it's really, really been helping. And I've been going at different angles and avoiding divots and stuff like that. And And another thing I'll do is I'll take it and put it down here, but I'll put it against the sidewall and push push on there to see if uh, it's level or not. And if it rolls a certain way, I'll hit that area a little bit. And yeah, it's been making it really easy, very fun. So we're going to move on to this guy right here, let's see if you can see it, not bad, not bad, Look, looks really good wet. Hey, 
Okay, so here's the first one. A little red one that has that red banding in there. I think it turned out pretty good. Looks pretty flat. And uh, if I get it wet here, you can see it's gonna turn out pretty good. It looks like a fracture kind of showed up there, but you know, that's okay. So you see some other cool stuff kind of hiding in there too. So, very cool. Uh, second one here, this is after 600 grit. Super awesome, very excited. Um, looks same as the others. I mean, they all look really flat. Uh, did a, I'm actually really happy with how these are turning out. I'll give you a show of what it might look like. Pretty awesome. You can see definitely a lot better than last time. A few little spots. I actually just noticed now that I could have worked out, but much better than the first time. Um, and I think those are small enough. By the time we get through all the stages, it'll be worked out. So, yeah, here's, yeah, that one's just, I just did that <laughs> a little bit for fun. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of do a little rotation here on this. Three sides, That's I thought that would look kind of cool. Um, but yeah, same thing. Checked them all, they look pretty flat. So I'm gonna move on to the uh, hand polishing. I'm actually, I feel like I'm whipping through this. This is awesome. All right, so I got them all ready to go. I cut them out, each piece of the, uh, probably doesn't say it on the back since I cut it, 1000 grit sandpaper. And uh, one of the tricks I learned uh, the last time, that I'll show you here, initially, obviously with water, I started out going like this. You know, I found out so quick that that was going to take a lot longer than like 10 to 12 hours. So I got a piece of wood here that I use. And what I end up doing is just, I'll get a towel. I need to go grab it, but I put a towel on here, set the sandpaper on here so it has some cushion. And I just push and go back and forth and spinning, you know, so it's, and I'll just do that for the last time. It took a long time because of all those divots and everything in there, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get going on that and we'll show you all the stages on each one um, from, from 1000 grit all the way up to 3000 grit. Alrighty, so we got all three of these through all the stages of the uh, wet sandpaper. So I'm gonna show you um, kind of how it went through each stage. And I will say, because they are a little smaller, it was a little harder to show the details with the pictures, um, especially with this white one. But as you can see, you know, I, it's got fingerprints and stuff on it. I need to clean it up a little bit with that cerium oxide and stuff. But um, I'll show you those stages now. Here to do the serum oxide polish on these um, like I said I kind of got fingerprints and stuff on them here but um, this one has a smidge right there where there's a little fracture but pretty happy with it I got a lot of amazing practice with these guys um, did that little edge there this edge turned out pretty good and then that one's got a little bit of divots and stuff in there but 
that's all right. It's more of a kind of a practice run with this one. And then this one turned out really good. Um, I think there's just like one line right there that um, it was kind of hard to work out. Um, a lot harder with smaller ones um, because they kind of roll and stuff in your hand. But it was fun and definitely needed the practice and really, really turned out. So I'll do the serum oxide on these and uh, yeah, we'll show them afterwards. I am still trying to figure out a good uh, ratio for the cerium oxide powder and water. So in here I have some powder and I've got this a kitty syringe here um, that I'm going to try to put the powder in and then some water and then obviously with the syringe in there and try to mix it up and then apply it to the tip and see if that's kind of a good way to go about it. I, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Here's our last one. Get going on that. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. My hand slipped, sprayed it everywhere. Oh no. Well, get this off here, ready for the next polish. What I'm going to do now is get these cleaned up and we will show you how they turned out. So we got them all cleaned up here. Um, so like I said, you can kind of see the fracture there. Um, try not to touch it, I think I might have put a little bit of fingerprint on there. But that turned out pretty good, especially for a little guy. Um, good practice trying to get it as level as possible. And uh, really fun. Really excited to show the before and after on this one. And the white one. Um, excited on this one too because the banding on it is absolutely amazing. Um, as you can, I can show you in the glare there, there's, there's some scuffs in that one that I couldn't get out, and then there's a few like right there and there. There's some little ones that didn't quite get out. I could probably work some more on it later, but um, yeah, not too, not too bad. Some good polish. I did learn it's a little harder with smaller ones um, because, like I said, as you're doing the hand polish, they kind of roll and stuff in your hand. It's a little easier to work with bigger ones, so probably won't be doing a lot of polishing on these smaller ones but like I said at the beginning super good practice and it was really fun uh, trying to get you know different level surfaces and playing with it and uh, working through things you don't know like smaller ones are a little harder to polish um, but it's fun exposing some of these bands so and then the, easily the best one of the three was this one right here um, check that out how awesome is that the depth that is in those bands <laughs> oh my gosh such an awesome polish um, like I said you can kind of see I'll show you with the light there's like one line there that kind of drug out and um, I almost got it worked out I could work on it probably a little more get it up but um, with these smaller ones, I'm not going to spend a crazy amount of time on them because they're more just like for practice. 
uh, to get a little better for down the road. But yeah, um, banding on this one is absolutely awesome. I love it. Very cool. And then, um, let's see. Oh, my jar. So the jar here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Move the move this. All right. So I've mentioned in some past videos, if we can get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give away Jar Vegas, and that's what this is right here. This whole thing is chock full of Vegas. So, like I said, if we can get there, we'll do a contest. And I will give this whole jar away. Pretty good amount. So, pretty excited. Uh, being able to be so lucky and blessed to be to the point where I might be able to get to a thousand subscribers. And I definitely want to say thanks for all the amazing support by giving giving back some of these treasures. So, um, like I said, super thankful. Uh, very appreciative of all the amazing support from you guys. All the great comments. Love chatting with you guys and uh, going out on these fun adventures and then uh, learning through this new process of polishing stuff with you as well. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, of the three, let me know which one was your favorite. The white one, red one, or we'll call this one brown. Um, or the brown one. Uh, this one's actually pretty cool. It's got like eyes and all this stuff hiding in there as well. It's kind of cool. But yeah, let me know which one you thought was... Uh, or I guess which one is your favorite of the three um, and I appreciate you guys watching uh, if you got any tips or tricks for me with using the Dremel and hand polishing with wet sandpaper please let me know I definitely want to get better at this uh, this trade um, it's it's really fun I was able to cut down the uh, time even with doing three of them I was able to cut down the time it took me um, I think in half with hand polishing um, because I worked more with the Dremel so that was pretty great. Well thank you guys so much for watching make sure to stay tuned for more rock counting adventures.